Firefighters in New Jersey found themselves battling a four alarm blaze in the unlikeliest of places, their own headquarters. CBS 2's Jay Dow has the story now from Piscataway. When the alarm sounded at about 10.30 this morning, two dozen firefighters from the Holmes Marshall Volunteer Company rushed to headquarters to gear up and get on the job. They never expected they'd be fighting a four-alarm blaze at their second home. Looks like it started up high, though, like in the attic, because uh, we saw smoke coming out of uh, the eaves. When firefighters pulled up to the station house, they realized they only had seconds to save the equipment, including fire engines stored inside. In this cell phone photo, you can see the huge trucks being driven out of the burning building, vehicles which suffered moderate damage. Last vehicle, of course, was trapped inside with that. They just had to drive that through. They just crashed it through and got it out. Two firefighters suffered smoke inhalation. And while Chief Bob Burns says there was no one inside when the fire started, there were many memories lost in the rubble. It hurts a lot. I had to gather myself together before I could actually come down. This is our family. Yeah, it's our family. All these guys, are, they're all volunteers with their new truck. It's just sad. Plans for a building expansion are now on hold indefinitely. It's going to be a lot of work for us. And this department now has the grim task of figuring out how this fire started. In Piscataway, Jay Dow, CBS 2 News. The Holmes Marshall Volunteer Company has been serving its community now for over 50 years.